Shogun Episode 8, The Abyss of Life, was particularly tough on Buntaro, Lord Toranaga's loyal samurai and son of Hiramatsu. With only two episodes left in the acclimated FX-slash-Hulu series, the stage is set for Lord Toranaga's secret plan to start unfolding. This, in part, includes Buntaro, who played an integral role in the shocking sacrifice of Toranaga's longtime mentor and ally, Hiramatsu, at the end of Shogun Episode 8. Buntaro had his soul crushed twice in the devastating episode, leaving him in an incredibly vulnerable position. He may have no other way to find purpose than to sacrifice himself for Toranaga, like his father. The last two episodes of Shogun have seen Toranaga take major losses in the form of his mentor Hiramatsu and his son Nagakado. Known for being ruthlessly cunning, even when it involves the death of his loved one, Toranaga appears to be stopping at nothing to ensure the legacy of his future shogunate. With Shogun Episode 9 being titled, Crimson Sky, it's likely that his hidden agenda to attack Osaka when they least expect it is in full effect. Buntaro losing a father and his wife's love all in one episode is sure to pack a major punch in future episodes of Shogun. While offering to make someone tea may not seem like much of a big deal in Western culture, in the world of Shogun, it is a sacred ritual and display of respect. Buntaro's offering to make tea for his wife, Mariko, was his way of trying to win back her favor after abusing her in Shogun Episode 5. Their relationship had been greatly strained after he and Blackthorn had gotten drunk off sake and Buntaro took out his aggression on Mariko by brutally beating her. In response, Toranaga forbade Bunatro from seeing Mariko for at least a week, which allowed Mariko to join Blackthorn in Willow World. Based on the intricate way the tea scene was shot in Shogun, it's undeniable how much respect and care Buntaro put into his efforts when preparing tea for Mariko. Mariko responds formally and accordingly to his kind gestures, which give Buntaro a glimpse of hope that there is still some chance of redemption in Mariko's eyes. This turns out to be the furthest thing from the truth despite the kind gesture that Buntaro had made with the tea ritual. Mariko shows him that the tea was nearly enough to make up for the assault, which was likely not the first time that it had happened either. With the formal tea ritual, Buntaro also had the underlying motive to ask Mariko if she would join him in death. He believed that he would be offering Mariko great relief by granting her permission to commit seppuku, something that he had prevented her from doing throughout their arranged marriage. Buntaro would also commit the act alongside her as a form of protest against Toranaga's apparent surrender to Lord Ishido and Okiba no Kata. This would ultimately be what inspires Hiramatsu to commit seppuku, as part of an elaborate scheme devised by Toranaga. By disavowing his duty to Toranaga, Buntaro would be disgraced and could only die honorably by committing seppuku. He presumed that he and Mariko would be able to enter oblivion together as husband and wife and perhaps find a way to start over together in another life. Mariko, who had told Blackthorn that as Buntaro's property, she was never permitted to die honorably as she desired, surprisingly does not accept Buntaro's offer. It is not that she no longer wanted to die honorably but she had no interest whatsoever in generating oblivion with Buntaro, who was more of her captor than her husband.